The how about Shemel Shai created wow, the wicked for the scripture say for the day of evil. Right, go, I'll go back to Genesis. They bring what nothing but what? Um death and destruction. In a in a Baku, a Baku two and five, he said they are what they are as what? They are as hell and it's as death. They can represent death. But mm. Prince Philip, uh, Prince Philip now come back as a virus. He might come back as a slave. Born back as a slave in our kingdom, right? So this is what will happen to these so-called white people in the kingdom to come. Back in uh, Luke 16 and verse 20 and 22. Okay. Let's start at verse 22. And it, says, and it came to pass that when the beggar died, he was carried away by the, by the angels into um, Abraham's bosom. Right. And the rich man um, also died and was buried. Right. And in hell he lift up his eyes and being in torment Can't and so. see it Abraham afar off. So they will be in torment, right? In our kingdom, as I mentioned earlier on, they might go through double time or we go through as a nation. You know the kingdom to come. Our kingdom. Right? Yeah, and you don't talk about in a hell. Physical hell. Yeah, no. A state of hardship. Just like how we in hell now. Yeah. You know, in a state of hardship we get up every day. Can't. We have to be working, you know, just like when we're in a slavery man, working hardcore in plantations. Can't. You get in stripe over our back. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was hell. Mm -hmm. So this time the table is going to turn as we read it in Deuteronomy 7, um, 20, 30 and verse 7. So the Lord is going to take out the curses of us and put it on the other nations. So the man will go through that hell that we went through. So continuing. Right? <clears throat> so it's um so it's, uh, the rich man also was dead and buried, and he held he lifted up his eyes, and being in torment he seat Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he might dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. So this is our so-called white man, basically want in the kingdom. Right? They might want mercy. They never show us no mercy. Our four parents come over this side of the world, you know, and cargo slave ship, you know, pack like sardine. You have certain um accounts, you know, showing that even the slaves them that they will be going next, next slave them to basically kill them because they could take, they could take basically their, their affliction no more. Right, to, to basically, it was rough, the journey was rough and all them packed tight. But in the kingdom to come, they might go on mercy. They don't show us no mercy. Skip said, well, them cast off all pity. You know, um, you must one and verse 11. And they want mercy. Right, go on. All right. He said, and I am tormented Grand. in this flame. Right. But Abraham said, Son, remember right, that thou in thy lifetime Life. receivest thou thy good things. So in this time, in this lifetime, you know, enough for them basically rulership or enough for them, enough for them kingdom. Because it's a for them kingdom, you know. We live in the so called white man kingdom right now. They are the one who are rule. Right? As you better go in the, the, the article, you know, with Prince Philip, you know, the royal family mourning for, you know, them loved one. Right, so in them lifetime, them live the top life, them receive the good things. Why we receive the curse because we are under the curses right now, right? The Deuteronomy 28, you know, from the 15th verse right on to the 60th verse, so we are under the curses. And, and likewise, Lazarus, evil things. Are we receiving the evil things now? Go on, but in the kingdom, we're going to receive the good things. Go on, now he's confronted and thou art tormented, right? And beside all this, between us, there is a great gap. Gulf stuck here, there's a great gulf to fix so that they which um, would pass forth ends, right? To you cannot, can uh, neither, it's like a neither can pass to us that would come from thence. Right? Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. Plan. For I have five brethren that, um, that he may be unto them that he may testify unto them lest they also come to his place to this place of torment and they're not going to listen to you because these men are proud you so even yeah, yeah man. even prince philip you know will be a scholar and they're the spirit world right now you know waiting to come back down you know and burn in slavery them him know right now him know what will basically happen to him at the kingdom to come right. but these men not going to listen so people say um, they are one, like deaf other who we'll stop at their ears in the Psalms, um, Psalm, think of Psalm 58. Yeah, and we we'll never listen to what they would do. Can I bring it up, brother? Bring it up, 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 bring it up
mute verse 3. Go on. So the wicked are estranged from the womb. Go on. They go about, they go astray as soon as they be born. And who is the wicked? Lies. And who is the wicked according to uh, Malachi, you know, 1 and 4? Edom, which are the so-called white people. Scripture said, thou shalt call them the body of wickedness. So your scripture said, wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they have been born. Like you, Speaking lies. Right? Go on. Their poison is like the poison of the serpent. Go on. They are like the deaf other. Go on. They stop it their ear. Right? Go on, you know? Which will not hark into the voice of the charmer. Will, charming ne never so They will wise. not hark into the voice of the charmers. What are the charmers? The prophets, you know, the men of the Lord. You know, starting from the apostles and elders. They're not going to listen to what we have to say. Because people are telling us right here. So they're not going to listen. Can, can, can. Light. All right, so it's um, verse 28, um, Luke 16, verse 28. It says, For I have five brethren, right, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come on, <clears throat> it's like into this place of torment. And he saw what? Five, uh, five um, sons he saw they have. Right, so he's talking about so called yeah, white people. You know, yeah, and, and, and the five sons. Right. Does it see him? So Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. Son. Let them hear them. Gone. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will be, um, they will repent. God, they never ever repent. Yeah. And he said unto them, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose up from the dead. So these men are going to be a scholar, you know, fulfill prophecies. They are going to be a scholar doing wickedness until the time. Yeah, when you're how shy, you know, making second return, you know, and and, rem and remove so called white man from out of power. They not stop. No matter what happens, they're not gonna stop them are conscious of the way they might do because even if they want to put it on the heart to fulfill his will. Right? Can I bring up brother? See the article? Yeah. One year talk, yeah. So that's um it's an article from RT News um basically it says here Island tribe that worship Prince Philip awaits his return. Can say the island child that wait for Prince Philip return. Right? I'm gonna return, yes. I'm gonna <coughs> return in the kingdom to come, our kingdom. And I'm gonna born back as a slave. You know, in the fields, working. See? It says um a tribal commu um, community on the South Pacific island of um Tana Tana are mourning the loss of their god like spiritual um, the the eighty, Prince Philip's, zin, at Windsor Castle, zin. He says to the villagers of the 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 van, the van, the van what to archip, archipelago, um, Prince um, Prince Philip's is a recycled descendant of a very powerful spirit, our God that live on one of their mountains hmm. and old tribal legend tells the tale of a white man who was born from the volcano spirit and traveled <laughs> and traveled overseas to many a powerful woman after which he returned to the island then the tribe is certain that this man is the is in fact Prince Philips, who was born in their homeland and left for the UK to complete his mission of planting the seed of Tana customs at the, at the heart of an empire. Nothing more, more to ask you. Light up. It is um, Isaiah 60 and verse 12. What? So therefore thy gates shall be open continually, and they shall not be shut day and or night. Because this is talking about the kingdom to come. Right? Because, you know, when your house shall make him return, you know, your house shall come back and set but all on the earth. You know, according to the scripture, I think um, Ezekiel um, 39, you say, um, the, um, the elect are growing the world, you know, and destroy all the weapons where all these um, nations have. Right, so we're gonna be one harder. And it's your house, Bahashi Miaoshai, harder. Right? Our kingdom gonna be a scholar and a road and a one rulership. They're not gonna have, 
these hidden nations of Assad do for them, them feel like do. They want to follow our ways. Right? After a thousand years, they want to go back to them, them, them homeland. They want to go have, have the film little thing. But they want to follow our ways. Right? Not like now, where it takes place now. You know, total confusion. So people say they want to bury them idols in a, in a um, two bit. These hidden nations worshiping all them idols right now, they want to bury it. Right? Go on, brother. So it's a taboo of the kingdom to come. Go on. So, um, day and night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. Scan. And and the and that their kingdom, and that the king might be brought. And that and that their king might be bought. Scan. For the nation and kingdoms that will not serve thee shall perish. So all these nations want to serve us, they're going to perish. Right? So they're not basically uh, follow the order. Right? We're going to punish them. Go on. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Go on. Right. He said, the glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. Can. The fir trees, the, and the, he said, the pine trees, and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. Because so even these Arabs, the so called Arabs, which are the Ishmaelites, they, even them all come over, come serve us. All them going to serve us here. Go on. Um, to beautify the place of my sanctuary. Can. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. He said, so uh, the sons also of them that afflicted thee Can. shall come. Uh, bending unto thee. So all these nations are afflicting us, you know, on this side. You know, starting from the so-called white man. You know, along with these Eden nations who join hand in hand to oppress us. You know, try to destroy us according to Psalms 83. They say, come on, let us cut them off from being a nation. This is how it happened. You should say the nation that was despised thee, all of them will eat us right now. Look down upon us as nothing. This is how it happened in the kingdom to come. Right? Go on. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down to the sole of thy feet. Can. And they shall call thee the city um, of the Lord, the Can. Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Can. Exactly. So this is how I prepare right now. To take place. Right? Our kingdom gonna set up when this one gets destroyed. Because we can clear that you know reach the end of this society. You know, we see even in the Middle East or you know, World War Three tension building up. Heavily right now, the tension between you know Russia and America. You know, we are seeing you know Isa Edom making him move right now. You know, basically bring forth this digital society. Even I'm out here in Jamaica. I can't tell them. You know, by next year they want to go digital out here in Jamaica. You know, so Isa Edom can make the RFID microchip become mandatory because that's one of the main prophecy. You know, we're looking for right now. The RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, become mandatory. You know, and the third reservoir destruction. So we're very close. You know, to the destruction of this society. You know, and after the destruction, or, or, or after the destruction of this society, our kingdom is going to build. You know, which is going to be, which going to be a righteous kingdom. We're going to be a to rule forever and ever. We're not going to ever go by the door alone no more again. Right? What was it? What was it? What was it? Um, so with that, I say all praises and honor to you. Baha Shemir Shai, Baha Shemir Kodash, and Dublin as to the pastors and elders of Great Stone. Shalom to all our brothers who are pushing through in our sincerity and in all honesty. Shalom.